We should get our testosterones checked. What did he say about test? What did he say? I didn't read the whole article. Oh. It was something about doing it and liking it. Rogan? Yeah, like he does it. He was like, he went to jacked doctors who were in their 60s and looked like they were in their 40s. Like, I'm not the best with reading. Uh, like, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I can, but I'm, no, I mean, what I mean is like, there are people that sometimes I say stupid things and there are people watching this going, me too. 100%. <laughs> Look, Bert wears hats. I buzz my head. We don't want to. It's because our hair got thin and then we didn't do anything. And you can actually do something. That's the advantage that you have is that you're watching this right now. And if your hair is just starting to thin a little bit, that's when you need to act. So many men, 66% of men start to lose their hair by age 35. You got to get going. Go to forhims.com, the one stop shop for hair loss, skin care, sexual wellness for men. It's time to write a new chapter, one in which you have hair. This is great. You consult with somebody online. You don't have to go to the doctor's office. You don't have to wait in some super long pharmacy line. These are real scientific medical solutions backed by science. This is what you need to do. Today, Hims is giving you their best offer yet. If you're not happy with your results after 90 days, Hims will give you a full refund. Right now, my listeners can get their first visit absolutely free. Go to forhims.com slash bears. That's forhims.com slash bears. Prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Remember, that's forhims.com slash bears. This podcast is brought to you by Ritual. Listen, when when everything started kicking down in March, I started taking vitamins and I got overwhelmed by vitamins. I didn't know if this was too much. And then I took one that was athletic and I couldn't stop shaking at night. Uh, I've been taking vitamins entirely and I love a multivitamin. That's why I love uh, Ritual. Ritual is formulated with key ingredients, including vitamin D3, which I take 4,000 milligrams of a day and helps fill in the gaps in your diet. They're fresh tasting. They delay, they delayed release capsules. They are delayed release capsules that are designed to dissolve later in less sensitive areas of the stomach. So you're not burping them up all day long and you don't have to take them with food. You'll always know where your nutrients are coming from. Thanks to Ritual's one of a kind visible supply chain. They've got them for all different types of dudes. The younger guys, the middle guys, the older guys, they've got them across the board. And I'm telling you, they're available for men and women and teens. Ritual multivitamins are scientifically developed to help support different life stages. And they're, like I said, they're, they're there for everyone. Delivered directly to your door every month with free shipping always. You can start, sn- you can start snooze, or cancel your subscription anytime. And if you don't love Ritual within their first month, they will refund your first order. You deserve to know what's in your multivitamin. That's why Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off their first three months. Visit ritual.com slash bears to start your ritual today. And we're I back. think this side of the fence starts it always. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You want to do it? Wow. That was racist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, sh- I, we were just saying, shout out to Dr. Dre. I hope he gets better. You don't know what happened? I don't know what happened. He had a, he had an aneurysm. Really? Yeah. And I told the story to Leanne, but sometimes I talk fast and I don't say the right things. And I said, Dr. Drew. Yeah. She sat with it all night. All night. Well, that's all you At see the end it. of the night, she's like, I can't find anything about Dr. Drew's aneurysm. I said, Dr. Drew had an aneurysm? She was like, you're the one that told me. I was like, oh no, Dr. Dre. And she was like, Dr. Dre had an aneurysm? It was like even, it was a great way to- Is there I, an update on him? Like on his condition right now? As I guess- He's doing he's doing good. He's out of ICU. I've been following it. Yeah. I've been following it because that doesn't that goes this is what sucks about the fucking thing. It goes against all the things you sign up for when you're a kid. Take your vitamins, be healthy. Dr. Dre doesn't party. He works out. He's in good shape. Yeah. He's he's healthy. He's only in his 50s. He's a billionaire. The billionaires don't get sick and die like that. And so all the stuff that goes it goes against all the shit you signed up for as a kid. When you sat there like Prince Queen Elizabeth did and said your prayers at the end of the night and you said, amen, you got in bed, that was it. Now you're covered. Yeah. And then all of a sudden a fucking, and you don't, you can't stop aneurysms. No, but like as soon as you know one, he's 55. Wow. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as you know one is, I bet they feel a lot like panic attacks too. Yeah. Well, as soon as they know what's going on, they have to get in there, which is probably what happened with him. I'm I told, sure. 
He, yeah. it's, we have no real up to LL Cool J gave an update. Okay. <laughs> Fucking, I didn't even know they were close. I, it surprises me too. <laughs> I, I like, had no idea who he cool was. Cool Mo D gave an update. And you're like, oh. not shitting on LL Cool J. Yeah. Dre is recovering nicely. Shut up. They're friends. I guess so. What a cool way to come out as friends. You know? Yeah. And everyone's like, is that why you were going back to Cali to <laughs> see your friend Dre? I'm going back to Cali. What a, that is, what a neat way. We should, we should do that tweet. What's out the Dre go. post? Oh, he says, well, yeah. thanks to my know. family, friends. And no, family. I mean, like, scroll down so I can see. Oh, he's in the studio already. Thanks, okay. <laughs> no. Hey, is All Vulture right. a good magazine or a bad magazine? What do you mean? Like, I, like you know how sometimes you read things? Like, do you ever look at the news and you go, you go, what the fuck is wrong with these? Fu oh, never mind. That's Fox News. And then you're like, <laughs> oh, oh. oh <laughs> like, like just the source. Yeah, yeah, like the yeah. source. Is Vulture good or bad? I mean, I think I thought Vulture was more like a pop culture type of thing. That but is it? Is it like? Is it like I saw one the other day that was like. Uh, the the headline was um uh more diversity or or more cancel culture like or something like like yeah. they, they just they, even the good ones draw you in yeah. to get you to fight yeah 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 and no, I'm, like, I'm so exhausted of all that i don't I know. know i mean vulture i thought it skewed kind of like alty you know i thought that that was i, mean, I don't think I, see if i've ever been in be vulture wrong. i'm sure fat uh, fucking alcoholic see if, see if what white <laughs> privilege <laughs> Have I ever been in Vulture? <laughs> Burt Kreischer. Yeah. Let's see. Vulture. Burt Vulture. I've been in Vulture. What was Let's I in see. Vulture for? Fucking fat red. Let's see. Sword. The man behind the machine. The comedian joins. Oh, us. Justin David Fox. I know that dude. I, I shit on him I one think... time on a podcast. Yeah, I did. I did. Dude, how, we want to talk about what a fucking cunt I am. Yeah. Yeah. I did a whole interview with this guy uh -huh. i mean it was one of the funnest interviews i've ever do done really honestly he has a joe he has a podcast called the good one yeah or, or a good one it's a great thought he basically takes one of your jokes and then pulls it apart he wants to know how you wrote it mm -hmm. i fucking jack off to shit like that yeah i love that more than any i love talk first of all i love it's talking totally about breaking me. it down yes you do love talking about <laughs> you and then breaking it down and then breaking it down and how I got there. And especially with the machine story, it took me four years to really write. So I, lo I love that. I love that. And I get done the interview and he goes, um, I'm like, man, I really had a great time. I really had a great time. This was one of the funner podcasts I've ever done. I think it was like a two and a half hour podcast. Mm -hmm. And it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be like 35 minutes. Yeah. And he was like, thanks. He's like, you know, I was curious of whether or not how, how we were going to, I was going to be received by you. And I was like, why? And he was like, well, because you kind of trashed me one time on a podcast. And I was like, ah, that sounds on brand for me. <laughs> How did you trash this person? He wrote an article about um, Hannah Gadsby. Mm -hmm. And I, I type in Jesse David Fox, Hannah Gadsby. You might as well type in Burke Reiser too and find out what I said about him. Hannah Gadsby. Oh, Good yeah. luck. Let's, let's, yeah. Um, no, uh, it's gotta be that it's gotta be like, Oh, how, how funny does comedy need to be? I'm sure that's it. It sounds right. Uh -huh. And I read it and I, I guess I either posted or I trashed it or whatever, because it was saying that comedy doesn't need to be funny, which I think we all know that now that a man's done it like Chappelle, it's okay. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. No, at the time, I think that the young kid, the, uh, I forget his name, but there was a dude out of New York that did a, a special where there were no, there was like, it was like a spoken word special. Mm -hmm. And then Hannah did it. And then I just, and I just released one. I think mine just came out. And I was, and I was, and I was like, oh, great. So I, and then I was like, I'm really sorry. And he was like, no, I, I understand why you said it. And, you know, I think my, and it, it was, it was cool. He was actually really cool. That's how cancel culture should work is I trash someone. He can cancel me, but he doesn't. Mm -hmm. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, speaking of getting canceled, uh, I need to make some apologies. What now? You know, okay, I already said it. You know how I misspeak. Yeah, I know you have a trouble with words. I, and, but it's not. I just go. So, I think. I think I think slower than I talk. You think slower than you talk. Yeah, yeah, that's that's accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you talk slower than you think. True. That's interesting. Yes. Like your specials are thought out. Well. 
I mean, it's, it's methodical, it's calculated, and it is definitely a slower burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mine are not like uh, like even when I no, do you're like them, a meth head. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like it. So I've been defending Kumail left and right. Kumail. So for people who don't know, Kumail Nanjiani. Over a year ago, he posted this photo of him. Which, by the way, he sent. We were texting, and he sent me the uh, like photos that he was taking of himself. Um, for the record, I forgot you were Thanos. <laughs> I saw the glove come up, and I was like. <laughs> So I didn't realize the body picture there. There's a bot. There's a side by side. Oh, side by side, side. By side. Yeah, that one of Kumail Damn. ordering ice cream at the beach, and then. <laughs> so, but anyways, he posted these photos. He got in the. He got jacked for this uh, Marvel Eternals movie, and I guess he's just maintained it. So people thought that like he would shoot his movie and then whatever, and then throughout. Look at oh, that's not him. Throughout uh, quarantine. He has said that, you know, he he's kept working out. It's helped him deal with the pandemic and yeah. isolation. And and he's also eaten really healthy. And he has like one cheat day and he posts photos of his cheat days. Like but I eating. do not see the food. All I see is those jacked fucking buys. Like I, yeah, his yeah. buys. He's, his, he's jacked. Are, he is so he. I, OK, I will say it right now. And I know this isn't popular. He looks the way I want to look. I want to look that way. Sure. He looks amazing. Yeah, he looks great. And, and I've been saying that across the board, like I do with Kevin Hart. Like I make a joke. I try to make a joke, but with Kumail, here's where I fucked up. Is you know what's crazy? Is right before they started trashing him. Well, that's so that we didn't get to this though. Oh yes. Yeah, so this, like, he did this transformation, and like I said, he's maintained it, and he keeps posting like, "Here's my cheat day meal: cake and donuts and whatever." But he's stayed in really good shape, and then people are dragging him like online a whole wave of people were like he is you know representing i don't know like, promoting promoting like this type of body and, and unattainable beauty standards, standards, and standards beauty yes. standards and 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 like which I, i'll say oh, that's probably unattainable for me <laughs> I, I mean, mean I, only I could, because i know you <laughs> That's unattainable for but, a lot of people. Like, yes. He, and he said it. It is unattainable for a lot he of people. He said that to get into that shape, he said, he made a statement that he goes, without, I had like the world's best trainers and nutritionists paid for by the world's biggest studio. He's like, there's no way I could have done this. But he has maintained it. He's maintained it. Yeah. And, and by the way, also, it's during uh, a pandemic. And when it's probably, because like it's a thing now, it's probably opening doors for him for different types of roles, you know, like so. Well, I think there's two also, and I think there's two sides. I think one side is the alt comedy scene who look who stereotype that body as like yeah, Death Squad, Rogan, uh, yeah. you know those that that kind of person. Segura, Jack, and then that and Kreischer, got like, Kreischer, the and machine. Then they get like, well, like the thing is, it's weird because you heard people like criticizing him, like, nah, I want him to be like he was before, you know. That that's who I like him as. So, and then there's the other side, which I think is even more interesting, is the meatheads who I I think it's like the all okay the alt left uh, wants him to go back to the way he was, and then right. the alt right wants him to admit he used steroids. Oh right, right. they're like they're, they're like, like dude juice juice oh, we get it man we're on your side right. just to say you did juice right because the uh, the other story about it was like say that you're on steroids, which Rogan had a big thing about uh, taking testosterone i would love to go we should get our testosterones checked what did he say about test what did he say i didn't read the whole article oh. it was something about doing it and liking it rogan yeah like he does it he was like he went to jacked doctors who were in their 60s and looked like they were in their 40s like i'm not the best with reading uh, like i'm not i mean i can but i'm no, i mean it, what i mean is like there are people that sometimes i say fucking stupid things and there are people watching this going me too i read the thing and then my mind wanders yeah so like yeah, all, i started I reading that. it and all i thought of was sober october i was like yeah god damn it and you're like that's why i lost that's why i lost <laughs> unfair <laughs> barry bonds head size grew yeah he sure did and so people say um but R rogan was saying that he wanted to be he wanted his body to work better i think or yeah. something to that effect and so he got his i I don't think he's like jacked on it. I think he just took him up to where they normally were. I have no idea where. But Kuma he's super jacked. Rogan. Yeah. Fuck yes. He's like fifty three. 
53 years old, and he is in ridiculous shape. Yeah. But he also, he said something to me once. I've probably said it before, and this was like 10 years ago. I remember being in a cab with him, and we were we were in Miami. We are going from the airport to the hotel, and he goes like this. Like, pretend this is his actual stomach. He goes like this. He goes, getting fat. I'm getting fat. And I, I go, what? Oh. He goes, I'm getting fat. And he pinched like like this much fat. And I go, what are you talking about? He goes, well, yeah, this is like, this is fat for me, though. And I was like... I go, you're not fat. And he goes, no, 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 I know. He goes, the thing is, I go, this is, this is ridiculous that you're saying that. He goes, well, I've never been at, like, I've never been out of shape. So th- at this, at this point he was 43. He I've was like, I've never, he goes, I've never been out of shape. shape. So I just main, I've never, so this is like a little indicator to me to like step it up because I've never been out of shape. And I was like, oh, okay. By the way, I'm in pretty good shape right now. No, I, Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let's p- pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. I'm in pretty good shape for me right now, for where I've been. I'm at my lowest weight that I've been in a year. I'm in great shape. <laughs> you, you oddly <laughs> enough, you look better than you've ever looked. <laughs> Wish I could break my you leg know, and arm. It's crazy. Knock on wood. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm gonna come out of this like in six months, and you're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" Because I'll be probably 25 pounds lighter than I am now, and with all the training that like it ramps up as you are able to. Yeah. I'll be stronger than I was the b- before I got hurt. Fuck. I know. You should get in an accident. And you've already gotten coronavirus, so you can do outdoor stuff. Uh huh. You can like get in people's faces. Anyway, my apology, my apology to Kumail is this. Oh yeah, what's the c- apology about? I speak too fast, and I've been calling him Indian, oh, and I know he's, he's Pakistani. Indian. He's yeah. Pakistani, and so the whole time I'm like, I realized it in the shower the other day. Because I'm defending, because I got, I looked at myself in the mirror. Oh, then you thought about Kumail. I was like, this is fucking gross. (laughs) You're like, this looks terrible. And I was like, I should really text him and say, like, for real, what did you do? Did you, like, because if there's like a, is there a supplement? He's just like an over-the-counter supplement. Did you ask him that? No, I no, I, I've only texted him. I know him, like, we've done podcasts, we've hung out or whatever. And I only text him when, I text him when, like, good things happen to him. And he'll say to me. But I'm not gonna text him when he's in the middle of this shit and go, "Hey man, what are you on?" Yeah. And so, and but then I'm sitting in the, I'm sitting in the shower and I go, I actually didn't research this so we could figure it on the podcast. I was like, it's probably pretty bad to call someone who's Pakistani Indian. Yeah, actually, to them, um, you know, probably pretty. It's like calling someone uh, from New York Mississippian. Hmm. Maybe Bostonian. See, I want to see how close are India and Pakistan because I bet they share a border. And then if they share a border, is it like Alabama? They've Georgia? had a they've had a long, long, long rivalry. You know, Why wars they, like t- over land. Oh yeah, yeah. Are they right on the same border? Yeah. Yep. So then, just out of curiosity, okay, mm-hmm. curiosity, like other than. To them, it's an insult. Like, how far off is an Indian person from a Pakistani person? Oh, well, culturally, you know, different. like, they're different cultures. But, but, I mean, like, if you go to the border, right? Yeah. And you, like, go, like, 20 miles one way, 20 miles the other way, are you going to be like, this is definitely Pakistan? I don't know, but that's a good question. Yeah, that's so that's what I'm sitting there going, like, because then I said, in Europe, that's accurate. Mm-hmm. Like in Europe, you go, German people do not look like Italian people. Like Germans like the, well, I think Hitler made it that way, but fucking, I, well, no, that's the truth is there was a, like, he made sure everyone looked one way, right? Yeah. I he mean, was, he was a big fan of that. <laughs> that was a bad example for but, Germany. But, but like, Northern Italians are more fair skinned. You find blonde, blue eyed, Northern Italians. And Southern Italians are more dark. dark skinned. Yeah. And so then I was like, so, but, but could you tell the difference? Like if you in your head say French person, I have a visual, right? Right. Like kind of like hunchback a little bit, cigarette, beret, <laughs> like overweight. <laughs> really? Just, hey, how you doing? Huh? <laughs> you know, like I do a really good French person. Let's do it. Okay. Give me something. To pretend. Just talk to me, man. I'm at a cafe. Okay. I'm writing poetry. Go ahead. Okay. Excuse me. Hey, what happened to your leg, huh? You uh, hop, hop like a frog. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name, sir? My name? Yes. Jean-Luc Picard. Jean-Luc Picard. <laughs> Jean-Luc. That is somebody, isn't it? 
It sounds like it came out too quick. Yeah. I think he was in Star Trek. Jean-Luc Picard. Oh, fuck. He is French? I think that's the actual character's name. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Uh, And they cast a British dude, is it? He's clearly British. He's very British. He's clearly British. Jean-Luc Picard. Uh, Oh, before, before, before we forget. Oh, we should talk about the live show. I just want to tell people, look, I've addressed it online. (laughs) I addressed it on your mom's house. I want to address it on... Look, I know there were tech problems, and they fucking pissed me off. Wait, there were tech problems? Yes. Uh, There were tech problems, people trying to get into the live show, and uh, I tried to address it as much as I could, that we, we prepared for it. We hired multiple companies. We fired somebody. <laughs> um, it's not going to happen again. I swear to you. We've we've put so much time, so much resources. We're announcing another uh, live event in a few weeks that we're super excited about. Us? Uh, yes. Oh, and, uh, by the way. Yeah. It's what you've asked for. It is what you've asked for. It's what you've asked for. And we're doing... Here's the thing. I promise you. I promise you. It's not... <laughs> It's not going to happen again. I promise you. So that's all I can tell you. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for joining us for the New Year's show. I knew that somebody drank too much. And that we was have the- we have different roles on this show. <laughs> and then the I think the real show was the lobby with you afterwards because oh. you were a fucking mess. <laughs> that's the last time I drank ever this year. I've been sober for a year. For much. for a whole six Five days. days. Yeah. Is it six? Yeah. Um. They just creep up on you. The um, I, I will say this because I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of nasty emails or texts and emails, and texts. Oddly enough, thank you for. We should pivot to spoofing. What spoofing is? But my number got given out. It's, hey, I really appreciate all the people that sent me um, pictures of their wife getting choked out with a cock. Yeah, like really the odd pictures you get. But anyway, um, a lot of people were upset that I didn't acknowledge the technical problems. I will be dead honest with you. I that's not my brain. I'm I I, I and being even when here's the truth. Here's the real truth. Bert has nothing to do with it. Don't yeah. blame Bert. I don't. Well, no, I don't. No, I I just I apologize. I didn't apologize. But like I when you said technical stuff hap, started happening, I definitely saw Tom flip over to business Tom and go, "What the fuck?" And and you don't I know was... this, but during those videos, he would get up and start dealing with shit, and I. I'm not that guy. No, I, it's totally. I, and I don't have anyone's phone number. I don't have, I can't solve I know, it. No, no. I, I, I don't help the issue. And so I was like, I think it's better if we're partying for me to stay in the party mode. I think it is too. And I apologize for the, the one lady who fucking, I, I trolled her back a little bit. She was like, thank you, Tom, for saying something. Radio silence from Bert. He has not even acknowledged that there was a problem. Yeah. And I was like, oh, come yeah, on. I was furious. I, look I think, at me. Look, he's, don't blame Bert. Anyway, um, but that this, live show was a fucking blast. It was a lot of fun. It and fun. it was so weird to see. Like, I really thought I was going to see Panic Bert with these animals. And, and then you were just like, look at this snake. And look, look, put that on my face. I was like, what the fuck? That snake was so fucking relaxing. Knowing that it wasn't going to bite you, it was just going to chill. It's like, why wouldn't you get a couple of them and put them in your bed? Yeah. Like, it, that was all. And the tarantula, I... I I woke up the next morning. I had one of the best days I've ever had in my life. The next morning, I woke up very still drunk, and uh, and Leanne was like, "Hey, you want to go? We'll go take the dogs and go let them run around." And I was like, "Yeah." So we went over to the new house, and I was still in my outfit from the night before, and I was smoking a cigar, and I was reading what people were writing on the internet, and I was laughing. Leanne was doing a workout class, so I was laughing hysterically. And smiling ear to ear. I had so much fun. It was so at fun. At that live event. I hope you had and as much fun. The I'll say, I said it on every platform I can get on. The memes are <sighs> unbelievable. I walked into George's room and she is watching Gwen Stefani do her song and Tom fall to it. I mean, we could not. Yeah. It was so fucking great. Oh, yeah. And the... Uh, there's a whole bunch of injury merch. <laughs> we have Air Segura stuff. Hey, I need we to have get new... some of this before it sells out because th- what happens is we have a lot of really cool merch I want, yeah, yeah. but it sells out and uh, we never make it again. Yeah, you're right. 
Um, we'll send it all to you. What size? Triple X. XL. XL. Uh, XL. Buddy. I'm losing weight. You sure you want XL? I want XL. I so want double can, XL. Can, right? okay, yeah. I, want a, I want sloppy clothes. Yeah. yeah. Sloppy clothes. <laughs> you wear, if you get XL, you can wear it in May. So let's get you the double X. <laughs> all right. So. Do you have big dreams like me? Have you stayed up at all hours behind your computer thinking of winning millions? Oh, I know I have. And by the way, I have definitely done it with World Series of Poker. Poker, I literally am the Cinderella story, the come from out of nowhere kid. World Series of Poker app is a great way to improve your poker skills and it's free to download. Tired of social distancing? You can now set up a virtual poker game with your friends and it's the number one Free poker game. The World Series Poker always has tons of players online to match up against whenever you want to play. Be on the lookout for all crazy fun of events coming up in the holidays too. Best of all, you can get $1 million chips. 1 million chips as a bonus when you join today. What's holding you up? Download the series, World Series of Poker app in the Apple Store or in Google Play and Amazon right now. Don't forget to use our promo code WSOP Bears for 1 million bonus chips when you sign up. That's 1 million bonus chips when you download the World Series of Poker app using the promo code WSOP Bears. Thank God 2020 is behind us. It's a new year. Let's get it off to a good start. Uh, if you are trying to save some extra cash, if that's on your mind, think about reshopping your home and auto insurance rates with Policy Genius. That's a great idea. You could save up to $1,055 per year with help from licensed experts. All you do is you go to policygenius.com, you answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property, then they do the rest. That's the best part. Policy Genius compares the rates from over 30 top insurers, from Progressive to Nationwide. They find you the best and the lowest quotes. And then their experts, licensed experts, will look at all the ways to maximize your savings. They do the, the switch over for you. That's the best part. If you're a homeowner, make 2021 the year you save up to $1,055 by simply reshopping your home and auto insurance. Just head to policygenius.com to get started right now. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. <laughs> this brings about one of the last, um, one of the last things we talked about. Uh, when we were doing the regular show, which is big dick problems, we asked like, oh, what, like does it what does it suck? And we got a bunch of emails. I'm going to read some to you. Please. What's up, Todd and Bart? I'm a member of the Fat Lap Hog Club with above average trouser snake dimensions. When hard, I'm seven and a half inches long from base to the top of the shaft and seven and a half inches in circumference. Here are some things I get annoyed with. Please Even at about four and a half inches soft, it is clearly visible in almost every pair of pants, shorts, sweatpants I have. Worst of all, bathing suits. Because of this, I have to wear athletic style compression boxer briefs. Even still, my dick line is still visible when I wear jeans. My girlfriend sometimes gets uncomfortable when I'm dicking her down with enthusiasm. She has bled on occasion. I did figure out in my teens that condoms hurt pretty bad to wear. Even magnums leave a pretty solid purple line on my shaft. It is unenjoyable. Uh, while taking a shit, my dick has to be 100% soft, else the tip can slap against the front portion of the toilet. It sounds easy, but sometimes in the morning or randomly during the day, I would need to take a dump and my dick would not be fully holstered. Obviously, this is super gross, especially when having to do it in public setting amongst the germs of who knows how many disgusting fucks. Uh, that's from Ray. Um, What's his last name? So Google him. I want to see what he looks like. Uh, he doesn't give his last name. God damn it, Ray. Here's a, here's, here's, having a nine-inch penis sounds like every man's dream, but I can tell you firsthand it's a nightmare. This is like big tits. Because women with yeah. big tits, I remember there was a fucking smoke show and like rack. Uh -huh. I, she's famous. I could say her name. And mm -hmm. she got a breast reduction. And I was like, oh, was she dropped on her head as a baby? Like, why would you do that? This is, this is one of the worst ones, this guy's story. Oh, bring it. Having an, he has a nine-inch dick. One time when I was in high school, I got beat up by some guys during a pickup game of basketball after they noticed my huge penis and thought I was hard for them. They res this resulted in two of my teeth being knocked out and a black eye. The worst part was I, know I couldn't tell anyone why I got beat up because I knew they wouldn't believe me or they might actually think I'm gay. Davis from Kansas. So that, I mean, that's a terrible one. Davis. Um, my heart goes out to Davis. Yeah, that's that one's really terrible. Fucking horrible. Um, here's uh, this guy says I'm six inches plus flaccid, and just shy of eight hard with a six inch girth. 
Here's a problem I have. Every time I get a full body scan going through security <laughs> at an airport, I have to get patted down because my dick shows up. Um, I have to buy relaxed fit pants because anything tight in the crotch region gives a good outline. Anytime Doppler radar goes off, they're like, we have a disturbance in India. Never mind, it's Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem with me, but my wife thinks every woman we talk to wants to fuck me because they can see my bulge. Uh, sometimes I sit on my balls or my dick. Thanks, Eric. Wait, when did we talk about big dicks? It was a few weeks ago. God damn it. Yeah. Cause I know I said something on the podcast. I gave out two friends' names, and they're like, hey, man, thanks for the shout-out. Please guy, don't do that again. This guy, this is the last one I'll read, has an 11-inch dick. Uh, and let me tell you, it's not all fun and games. You can never fit it in all the way anywhere. You end up hurting everyone you're with. You scare some people and turn others into crazy stalkers because they love it so much. Enjoy your regular size dicks, guys, and avoid all the headaches. I would much rather have someone be able to swish my entire piece around in their mouth. Thanks for all the entertainment. Thanks, well, that Bobby's can definitely married. happen with Anthony. Mine. Yeah, I've never had a. Can I tell you? You want? Okay, so now. Yeah. Hashtag small dick problems. Okay. So sometimes, as in yesterday, when I run. My dick, when, my, when I run, my dick goes like probably like that big. Yeah, so like, small. It's like root, super small. But that also means it's not like hanging to the left or hanging to the right. It's just sitting there like a little bit like this. And I ran six miles yesterday. Oh, I'm running 2,000 miles this year, by the way. I should have announced that. I'm okay. running 2,000 miles. It's an extra 1,000 miles. Yeah, me and Michelle Wolf are doing 2,000 miles. If you want to do the 2,000 mile challenge, here's the catch. Ready? You can walk on the treadmill. If you want to walk five and a half miles every day, you just got to make sure you plug it. It's not, don't count your fucking steps. You got to get on a goddamn treadmill, hit start and walk five and a half. Which or is outside. Doable. Or outside. Or outside. You have to go on a walk. You can't just go like, because Michelle and I were like, hikes got to count, right? Like for that. Because, and also when I run, I run um, fart licks like we used to do in Bears Boot Camp. Fart licks? That's what they're called, fart licks. Fart licks. Type okay. Of it's uh, it's it's basically. Remember, we used to do Barry's boot camp. We oh, do sprints. Yeah, and then you'd oh right, and then okay. you'd walk, and then you sprint. I like those. So that that for me is an easy way to way to run five miles is to do like two minute sprints. Very long distance are very simple forms of long distance running. Yes, it's it's so mixing it's like, fast it's running like with jog, slow, slow jog, jogging. run walk. Yeah, so like I'll run like one of my favorite ones. I would use this app called uh, called. Uh, Aptive, two A's, Aptive, and there's this guy, Akeem, and Akeem is my favorite one. I, I've tried everyone else, but for whatever, I've, I started listening to him, and I love this guy, Akeem. And one of my favorite ones is the Big big Birthday Run. And it's Notorious B.I.G., and so I love Notorious B.I.G., so I can run to him, but it starts off with like, you're supposed to walk at a three, but I, I run at a five, then run at an eight for like 30 seconds. Then run at a five for a minute. Then run at a seven point five for forty seconds. Then run at a five. So like, if you want to do this, you can. You can walk. You can hike. But you gotta start your thing, and then do five. You gotta do five and a half miles a day. And what sucks if you miss a day, you're doing eleven. So, so yeah. you're gonna do every day. Every day. I've been doing it every day. So small dick problems. By the way, I need a hashtag for that. Can you help me come up with a hashtag so people can? Join in on this uh, 2,000 mile run challenge. Oh, okay. Yeah, guys, something good. Not yeah. don't use the hashtag small dick problems. 2,000 miles. Thanks. Not you, Nadav. <laughs> I meant them. <laughs> no, I really appreciate your hard work. I really appreciate your hard work. <laughs> hashtag like 2,000 miles is a little all over the map. How about hashtag 2,000 miles 2021? How about 2021 2K miles? 2K miles, 2021, Burr Kreischer. It's... Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. It, we're, it's a work in progress. Hit me up in, if you have an idea. But small dick problems. Yeah. So I run real hard yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then I, I'm cleaning my man cave with my sisters. And as I'm like moving, the head of my dick is like hurting. And I go in, I look, and I have rubbed a raw, like chapped lips the fucking head of my dick from the run from the run because it just went like this in a pair of loose fitting shorts from losing weight so uh, loose fitting running shorts it started running wait did you not wear boxes or anything or? i don't i wear running shorts i wear really good running shorts oh. but they're not tight tight there 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 was like and they got wet because i'm sweating and so i literally had to put chapstick on my dick to just because it was like it's raw it, it's like raw you know the 
the this part of your dick right here mm -hmm. is raw. Like, let me see. I would show you. I would, but there's chaps. It's glistening. There's chapstick all over it. <laughs> so, my point is, I'm wearing underwear today. Yeah, I never wear underwear, but I put on these. These are these a sponsor of ours? I got these at my house. They could be. What is the name of them? I don't know what you're wearing. Is it what Annie's wearing? I have no idea. Uh. <laughs> what is the name of these pants? Can't tell you. Oh shit. Bugsy? Yep. Are they really? Yeah. They're fucking bot they're these yeah. pants are fucking awesome, dude. They're like sweatpants, but they look like pants. And they're good looking. Anyway, uh, hold on. So that's my problem with my dick. Yeah. And then that's small dick problems. I do want to do the run, the 2,000 mile run. I want everyone to get in on it. 1,000 miles. But I don't aggressive. know if your dick wouldn't be chapped if it were huge. I'll tell you the problem I had when I rode a bike from Philadelphia to Jersey. I remember that. And my dick is not small, not big enough to get on one side of, to pick a side of the fence. Yeah. It just sat in the middle and the pants would go whap, 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 Any whap. stress that I feel, my dick retracts into my body. Yeah. Like any type of exercise, it goes like, Ooh. Oh, and then any exercise. Any, any exercise, exercise. And any type of like, like real stress, something's going on. Yeah. Like when they were like, oh, we're having tech problems with me. I was like, my dick was like, I'm going to, I'm going to hang this one out, buddy. I like, can never understand how dudes can rape dudes in prison. <sighs> like you think that after fighting a guy my dick wouldn't be like oh i'm really hard my, i i would have to fucking beat the living shit out of a dude mm -hmm. to be able to work up a hard on yeah like sure. i would have to beat the he'd be um, immobile for me to be like all right hold on a sec yeah hey I mean, stop moving man stop fucking moving i'm almost there if you want to give it a <laughs> shot i mean hold on no one's ever talked about that you see these prison movies and they beat a guy and they're all hard already. Ready to go. I guess they're like, maybe they're hard all day and all week leading up to it. And they're like, we can't wait till Friday. I'm going to fuck that guy. That, I wonder. <laughs> I mean, this is obviously a taboo subject, but like, what, like, I wonder how many, he's like, I'm sorry, man, this never happened. It's a real, it's a real original thought, you know? It's an original thought. It's another original That's thought. It's an original thought. You asked for original thoughts. You asked a few weeks ago, you said, you thought, you're like, this is a totally original thought. Do you have any original thoughts? And you asked people to send them in. Okay. And so for every original thought you have, I'll match it with another original thought. Okay. These, these were sent in by listeners. I want to hear original thoughts. Okay. And I'll be the judge of whether or not they're original, if I've heard it or not. Okay. This person says, have two dishwashers. So you rarely have to empty a dishwasher. Just use clean items from one and move to the second. It's a kitchen cabinet that cleans for you. Oh, wow. That's brilliant. It's pretty good. That's brilliant. Texting my wife right now. We're yeah. building a kitchen. Why not put two, two dishwashers, dishwashers in? Yeah. How, how expensive are dishwashers? I don't know. Type in dishwasher. Save 35% off. All right. That's already, you're already the halfway yeah, how there. How much are dishwashers? I don't remember ever buying a dishwasher. 500 bucks. Okay. Cabinet's got to be the same. Probably. That's not bad. That one's fucking two grand. Text in Leanne. We're getting right. uh. Getting two dishwashers. That's fucking brilliant. Here's another one. Good job, man. Ready? Two dishwashers. That's fucking brilliant. Two dishwashers. That's, now, granted, that's that's like a rich guy fix move because yeah. not everyone's got the space to be like. Here's hey, a second dishwasher. Hey, man, yeah. How many fucking dishwashers do you have? Uh, I took out my refrigerator to have a dishwasher. Yeah. You ready for the other yeah, one? Yeah, I'm ready for another one. Transition glass should be put in all cars. So, sun's out. Sun goes down, glass transitions. Transition glasses in all cars. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. This might be a weekly segment. <laughs> this might be, a, I, these are game changing thoughts. You ever I, worn transition glasses? No. <laughs> no, me neither. And, and, uh, <laughs> no. I've worked with somebody. Cause I didn't sell porn in high school. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it does seem awesome when, when you see somebody like they walk outside <laughs> I was like, oh, until man. they walk out, until you're day drinking with someone who wears transition glasses and they walk into the bar and everyone's like, blind guy just walked in. 
transition glasses and then all of a sudden you can just high beam people and their windows go black in the middle of their night. I don't, I, okay here's what i want i want i want original thoughts and then i want another thought another one called poking holes in it okay because i love people who can poke holes in original thoughts go go keep going what's the next uh, one this one says i put my drinks in my shoe uh, can, bottle, etc. when there's no coffee table so that I don't accidentally kick them over when going to and from the bathroom. Also, I never have to guess which drink is mine when I have people over because it's in my shoe. I, Lewis. I love I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Put my drinks in my shoe. That is an, by the way, those other two ideas are really brilliant thoughts, right? That is a hardcore original thought. That one, and it's got Bert written all over it. All over it. Yeah. All over it. Yeah, if you have, uh, if you want to send yours in, send it to two bears, one cave, the number two, the word bears, the number one, the word cave at gmail.com, subject line, original thoughts. Here's my original thought. I had two original thoughts today. Okay. One was with the vaccine, right? Now, this I actually got into a fight with my family about because yeah. I said it. And then I started defending original thoughts before I could finish my, I, start, I said the thought and then I was like, I was like, hold on, you're, you're, you're too caught up. They're three steps ahead of behind original thoughts. Mm -hmm. So like sometimes with an original thought, you'll present it. And, and I, in, in the original thought, I said, I need fucking Lyle right now. And they go, who the fuck's Lyle? And now I sound like a crazy person. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, he's a British guy. No, no, no. I got so I got so sidetracked defending original thoughts that I couldn't get my thought out well enough because they were so far behind me. They're so far behind me because they're not in, in a thinking man's world. Like my dad's a lawyer. Uh, if you say certain things, my dad will just shut down and go, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't do that. Like, does the, he specify in a specific type of law? He Not really. I think he does re mostly real estate. Oh, okay. That so, would be specific. Yeah, but he was, that's not, it's kind of hard to explain. He does title work. Okay. But so what my dad does is he has a title company. Yeah. Now back in the day, if you a title company was separate from a law firm, mm -hmm. so a title company would then do all the work and then they'd run it over to a lawyer to look over it and the lawyer would make like I don't know what a lawyer makes, like 350 bucks or something to look over it and then they'd bring it back and then they'd do the they get the title and the title work was where the money is. And my dad in the 80s got a phone call from a, a lawyer. I've heard this story a couple times. Got a phone call from a lawyer in Miami who said, "Hey man, I'm doing this type of business a little different. I am opening a title company and then I am reserving, I'm saving them 350, but whatever the 500 bucks on going to a lawyer and I'm doing, it's an original thought. It really is an original thought. It wasn't my dad's. It was this guy in Miami's. And he goes, and then I'm doing all their title work. I'm opening a title company and then I'm also serving as a lawyer for that title company. So we're getting all the title work because everyone's saving money on lawyers. And my dad's like, fucking great. And he did it and it was very successful. So anyway, I, by the way, I'm not 100%. I'm totally accurate on that. I think you're probably close, but you didn't I'm very explain close. it right. I'm very close. Yeah. I'm not a huge... Do you want to call him right now and, and get the explanation? Yep. Might as well give out his It'd be fun number. to hear how wrong you are. Okay. <laughs> He's waiting for the vaccine. By the way, the original thought I had about the vaccine was... And this, I'll call my dad in a second. I go... They should charge rich people for it. Like get like put a price point on it, like yeah. ten grand a family. Yeah. And then and my dad goes, buddy, no. And I go, hold on, you're not you're shutting down an original thought. And and he goes, what the fuck is an original thought? And I go, this is an original thought. And you, I just go, do you talk to Lyle, Dad? Shut the uh, fuck yeah, up. Yeah. And I and my, and my sisters are like, Bert, that's what's wrong with our country. And I said, stop. I said, stop. Rich people will be doing that anyway. They're gonna do that anyway. Right. Why not benefit from it and say like, let's put a number. I don't know what the number is. Four grand to vaccinate your family. And yeah. then I, 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 I'm, I hate to say this. I would pay it. I would definitely pay. Four grand just to be done with this shit yeah. in a heartbeat. And by the way, there are a lot of families who pay it. There are a lot of families that couldn't afford it, obviously. But then my four grand would be subsidized. I'm not sure that's the right word. Spread out to a bunch of families who couldn't afford it. Right. Lo lower income families and get them vaccinated right away. So all of a sudden sure. you'd be doing more good than bad. And then, my, and then my dad's like, you need to reserve these for people that are elderly. And I was like, oh yeah, but get but them also. Let me buy some. But yeah, but the let, I just was looking for a way for me to get one. Um, we'll call my dad. We'll see what he does for a living. I'm pretty sure I was 100% accurate. 
Hey, bud. Hey, Dad. I'm on doing Two Bears, One Cave right now, so you're on the podcast with Tom and wow. me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. How's Tom? He's doing good. He's doing good. How you doing, Mr. K? Hey, good. I hope you're doing better, though. I am. I am. No, Thank you very no much. Injuries. He's losing weight during this Um, during this fucking injury. It's not a, I wouldn't recommend that diet. What, what diet? <laughs> <laughs> the broken diet. bones oh, diet. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the, the broken arm, broken leg diet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Tom asked me what you did for a living, and I kind of explained it. Um, but he thinks I may be inaccurate with what your job is. Oh. So can you wow. explain it? Well, and, well, hold on. Hold on one second. Hold, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna let Tom. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Phone. To be to be fair, a lot of times we ask Bert questions and he gives us an answer, and then it's like sixty percent accurate. So you know. Wow, it's that high. I'm Shocked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of embellishing and exaggerating. Don't get him started. Oh, with I, that. believe me, I think your dad knows. Um, so, according to Bert, you got a phone call from a guy. You got a phone call from a guy in Miami who had a title company who, who was who, a lawyer. Who's a lawyer who explained to you that he was going to consolidate his title company business with the, the lawyer side of it, which would save clients some money, and then you said, I'm going to do that. Is that accurate? No. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, I knew fuck. it. I, I knew mean, it. There's a, as in most of his, his stories, yeah. there's a, a, a bit of truth in it. Yes. It's, uh, it's uh, enhanced. Okay, can I just tell you that when he was finished <laughs> yeah. with the explanation, I go, I bet that has some truth to it, but it's not <laughs> accurate. No, it's it's close. I mean, I did get a call from a guy in Miami. That's true. Okay. <laughs> but then what he did is he he uh, introduced me to a client, uh -huh. a real, Merrill Lynch Relocation. Okay. And, I, and and from there I started to do closings for the uh, real estate uh, relocation company. Okay. And it, it it grew and matured after that to representing builders and and um, some governmental entities. Okay. But he has a. Do you have a he ask him if he has a title company. Okay. Bert a, is asking me to ask you. Do you have a title company? We did at one time because we had so much work. Uh, in two thousand, when in nineteen ninety two, we opened up a title company in our law office, and in two thousand, we sold it to Chicago Title. Okay. And then we operated it on behalf of Chicago Title for ten more years. So, but is most of the work that you did, it's real estate related? All of it is. All of it is. Okay. Yep. So, yep. so when I asked wow. Bert, when I when he said my dad's a lawyer, and I said, does he have a, a specialty? He goes, not really, but some real estate. And I go, well, that would be like a specialty. <laughs> so I was. <laughs> it, it, it is for me. <laughs> wow. Well, he was never really uh, interested in my practice. I mean, I took really? him to court a couple times, and I. I took him to a couple of closings. He said, I can't believe you do this. It's so boring. Really? So he wasn't like that. I want to follow in your footsteps and be a lawyer like you. No, he had no interest in that uh, at all. In fact, when he graduated from Florida State after six or seven years, I, I told Gigi, he's probably got some advanced degree and he's been surprising us till now. <laughs> Were you irritated that he took so long to graduate from college? No, it just flew by. Really? <laughs> yeah. He used to take he used to take his uh, shell card and buy beer at the shell station. I kept calling him. I said, How can you be putting so much gas in that car? You got a Volkswagen for God's sake, so you're putting forty, fifty dollars a week. <laughs> Drive a lot. And that's true, isn't it, Bert? Yeah, it's very true. <laughs> yeah. My older sister did the same thing. She would go buy cigarettes yes. and shit on the shell card. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, let, thank you for the update, sir. It was nice okay. to talk to you. And I and I'm. Take care yourself, thank you so Later. much. Thank you. All right. Bye. Love you, Dad. Bye. Uh we everyone is selling stuff online right now. We are selling stuff nonstop online, and that is why ShipStation is a must use. I'm telling you, no matter if you're selling on Amazon, Etsy, or your own website, ShipStation brings all your orders into one simple interface, making them super easy to manage from any device, even your cell phone. ShipStation works with all the major carriers, USPS, FedEx, UPS, so you can compare and choose the best shipping solutions for you and your customers. ShipStation even offers big discounts on shipping rates. Now, any business can access the same discounts usually reserved for the large Fortune 500 companies, which is so amazing. That's your, you're saving money like the fat cats. You'll always know what you're getting 
you always know that you are getting the best deal. That's a good reason ShipStation is the number one choice of online sellers. Ship more in less time with some of the best rates available. Get 2021 off to a great start by visiting ShipStation.com. Use our promo code CAVE to get 60-day free trial. That's two months of free, no hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and type in CAVE. That's ShipStation.com. Enter the code CAVE. ShipStation. Make ship happen. If you're like me, you love throwing in earbuds uh, all day, every day, whether you're listening to a podcast, whether you're listening to music, you're working out, you're going for a walk. Let's say you have both legs and you can walk and you have your earbuds in and it feels great. And here's the thing. I am, I'm always in the hunt for another one, the best pair. I have Raycons. I've compared them to all the other brands. These things fit amazing, sound amazing, and they're way better priced. They look great. They, they fit great. They have their water and sweat resistant construction. Bluetooth pairing is seamless. I get so annoyed for like that. I get annoyed like a 75 year old person when I'm pairing something up with Bluetooth. Raycon's offering 15% off all their products for our listeners, and here's what you gotta do to get it. Go to buyraycon.com slash bears, that's it. You'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order, so feel free to grab a pair and a spare. That's 15% off at buy, B-U-Y, Raycon, R-A-Y-C-O-N.com slash bears, buyraycon.com slash bears. So can I tell you how it works? Yeah. He said, uh, I got a phone call. I, 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 I witnessed what happens when I tell a story or when I hear a story. He goes, I got a phone call from a guy in Miami. He says, I'm, de- doing, I'm, I'm doing relocation work for Merrill Lynch. And immediately I shut down. When I heard relocation work, I, I, again, I went, oh, fuck, whatever. And I start telling the story to myself. Yeah. I start going, and he's like, this is what I'm... I'm I got, I'm printing fucking dollars over here. That's, I, I make up the story for myself because I shut down because I'm bored. Yeah. And so I start telling the story to myself. And as he was telling you, I didn't listen again. I didn't listen again to him because I was like, this is a pattern in your life. Yeah. But I wonder if I think this stuff in my head is like, it's, I find, I can make it more interesting to me so that I can stay attached. It's why I, I don't read, is that when I start reading, I like I I I it's it's why you can't trust me with like data because yeah. I don't the thing that interests me isn't the thing that's real it's the thing that interests me is the thing that I go whoa razzle dazzle like um like when I said to you the other day Winston Churchill lived to be ninety eight like, yeah I, it wasn't ninety eight it's ninety but I you're close I, I got close and then I do the thing and I thought you were for sure way off yeah only because. I've spent time with you. Dude, Prince Philip is a hundred. Is he? Prince Philip is, is I'm watching the crown right now. I'm obsessed with the fucking crown. I keep hearing good things. I heard great, great things about the crown and he's uh he's 99. Um, See? Yeah. I close. just did it right there. I just did it right there. I was like a hundred. The, the is crown so and Queens Gambit. I hear are great. I heard, I'm going to watch that next. I'm obsessed with the crown. And here's my original thought from the crown. And this is just an honest thought. Sometimes I have honest thoughts too. I am so glad. Does Christina have a sister? No, she has stepsisters. Yeah, right. okay, those don't count. I know. I mean, they count. I'm sure yeah, that yeah. people are like, oh, I'm, a... right, I'm it's so... not a biological sister. Though. I am so glad, and I was wondering if you felt the same. All week, I've been watching The Crown with Leanne. Yeah. And all I could think was one thought, and I was wondering if you share it with me. Yeah. I'm so glad Leanne doesn't have a sister, because I would definitely fantasize about fucking her nonstop. Wow. But just it, out of it, just out of just out of being regular. Like yeah. ju- like I would say that is But don't you think it like that fantasy would be like dictated on what that sister looks like? Not really. Really? Like I would always find the sister to be cooler. Like I, this... I remember one time uh meeting someone's sister, like a girl, and her sister was so attractive that I said it out loud when I met her. Whoa! And I are I you guys related? I saw her sister. And I was like, "Oh my god!" I go, "Your sister's so fucking hot." I mean, let's go through because because Prince Princess Margaret 
was so much more attractive than Princess Elizabeth. Yeah, and by, by the, the way, way, Queen Elizabeth. If Queen Elizabeth is watching, Queen, I am so sorry. Yeah, we don't mean to disrespect your highness. Um, I, I have got, so many questions. I gotta I take have, a shit right now. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Okay, go take a shit. We'll take a break. I'll be right back. And then we're gonna get, we're gonna really talk about Prince. I have so many thoughts about the royal family. Okay, I wiped. Okay, back on point. And by the way, let's talk about spoofing phone numbers now. The queen. Yeah. The the crown. The crown. I am obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with thinking I would have made such a great pointless prince. Like a prince who had nothing to do with their lives. Like Prince Philip basically just did nothing but partied his dick off every fucking day. Dude, they start drinking. I think it's just the drinking that I like, which I kind of already do. They start drinking first thing in the morning. Prince Princess Do you Margaret, like morning drinking? I can't do the way they're doing, but if I had nothing to do with my day, what are probably, they doing? Princess Margaret would wake up every day between ten thirty and eleven thirty. She was given she gave orders out. By the way, I watched a documentary about Princess Margaret. So you know there's two there are two princess, right? There's yeah. the stuttering king, King George, and he had two daughters. Mm -hmm. And his daughters are Queen Elizabeth, who's been queen for like fucking eighty years. Forever. Forever. These motherfuckers last forever. <laughs> They have royal genes, like Prince, which is kind of crazy because you'd think they have like a bunch of shitty recessive genes because it's all like inbreeding, you know, it's not inbreeding. So that's the thing about the monarchy. It just showed up like, like the one we're talking about right now has only been around like a couple hundred years, like maybe a little longer than that. But like, it's, if you go back to like the one that would put his uh, wives sp spikes on the head. The monarchy has been like shifted around a ton. Okay. I am fascinated by the British monarchy. My point is, you know, Prince Philip had to want to fuck Prince Margaret, Princess Margaret. You think so? Uh, she was a smoke show and she was uh, like, let's see Princess Margaret. Prin well, I'm a smoke show for the fucking before they did teeth and stuff, you know, like go to Princess Margaret. She's a good looking woman, right? Now yeah, go yeah. look at her sure. sister. Oh, fuck. You can't. I don't think you're allowed to say anything bad about the queen. Well, you can. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess I can. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. Like they, they didn't allow. Like, Is look, okay, them? so, so that's their dad, Prince King George, and then Margaret's the tall, good-looking one, and then the other one, it looks like she was in Mad Men. Is yeah. the fucking queen? Yeah, that's the queen. Yeah, she was. She's a little. She didn't want to be queen. But she was, she, yeah, look, I got to tell you, she is an awesome fucking queen. Princess Margaret would wake up every morning between 1030 and 1130. She That's would, them right here. Let's see them side by side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, she would have a uh, screwdriver to wake herself up. God vodka, damn. orange juice every morning and just eat fruit. Then go <laughs> directly to lunch where she would have a stiff gin and tonic. Stiff gin and tonic, right? Go get her hair done. Fucking go out to dinner. Party through the night until like four in the morning. Come home to her fucking palatial castle and pass out. Do it all over again for 78 years. She did this for 78 years. And, and I'm like, you're like, this is my lifestyle, dude. Then she went there. Was, she like bought, she got, got a house given to her in mystique in on an Island and would go there all the time. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm watching the crown and all I'm thinking is I need to be a Royal. I want to be a Royal. Yeah. And then I was like, I need to be knighted. Like, I wouldn't mind a knighting. They can do that. I No, hold on. Here's my pitch. Mm -hmm. now, I know that I've had some harebrained ideas with our two bears, one funding, or two bears, one holdings. Yeah, one holding corp. Yeah. We need to start. All we need to, we don't, listen, just slow roll it. One day, Prince William is going to be king. Okay? Okay. That's real. I mar uh, Prince William's married a divorcee, or like he was divorced, whatever. No, no, he's not. He, he hasn't married a divorcee. Whatever. I don't fucking... I, I, I haven't watched into the series that enough. I'm I'm just at the part where... Uh, Prince William is is married to um, Kate... Camilla Bowles. No, no, no. Oh, you're talking about Prince Charles. That's the one I'm talking... No, so he's... he's uh, Prince William is going to be king one day. Prince William will be king one day. Okay, he's married to Kate Middleton. Middleton. Yeah. All we got to do, if you're British and you are super wealthy and went to school at Eton and all those things and you're a fan of ours which is probably not likely but if you are a fan of all you got to do is put some of two bears a good the Kool-Aid clip in front of Prince William just very can't all I need is you to throw some of our material in front of Prince William this is our path to knighthood now he can never see this video because we're gonna have to delete this video somehow right. because we don't want to know that we we kind of spoofed him that we got in on him right we need Prince William. This is a really good plan. Prince William to become fans of ours. 
We need Prince William. I'll say it so I, clearly. And I think the way to, to do this is through Harry. I think you get to, you get Harry to see Dude. the clip. Harry will share it with William. That, this is why we're a team right now. Is sometimes you have a shit idea. Let's just go rob the bank. Guns out. And he's like, maybe we should wear a mask. And you're like, oh, good call. <laughs> Prince Harry's definitely a fan of ours. Definitely would like Definitely it. a fan of ours. He fucking loves us. <laughs> loves us. <laughs> loves us. Sure. We need someone who like went to Eaton. I don't even know what that is, but I think it's like a rich kid school mm -hmm. to get some of our clips in front of Harry. You're at a pub. You're having pints, right? Talking about his, and this chick was like a fucking movie star or something, right? Mm, yeah. She was an actress. So, oh, dude. She's American. She's six she's degrees. From, Let's do six degrees. What's her name? Megan she, Markle. Yes. She's American. She's American. She's from, well, uh, she might've been born in Canada, but she was raised in the United States, California. Google, Google Megan Markle. See if we have any kind of friends in common. Was she born out of country or is she born in, in California? Meghan Markle's, they abdicated, right? Uh, that's what, that's what, uh, by the way, everyone's like posted John Mulaney's clip of. Born Trump. and raised in LA. Yeah. Oh my God. We have to know someone that knows Meghan Markle. We literally have to go, just keep scrolling, keep scrolling. She was in Suits. I don't know what Suits. Go to Suits. suits see if we know show. someone that was. It's a good show. Was it about three days soup brokers? Canoga <laughs> Park, European acting. Let's see, General Hospital, CSI. Deal or no deal, war at home. She was at Fox. I wonder if we have fucking horrible bosses. Yes. She's been in a lot of stuff. Okay. We need connections, and we're going to start with Prince Harry. So we get in with Prince Harry. Then ultimately, he shows the video at Thanksgiving to his brother. Probably not Thanksgiving. <laughs> Maybe the Queen's birthday or something. The, the, the fucking the Crystal Jubilee. And, and then Prince William... That's our target. We need that guy to love us because we can get honorary knighthood. Not honorary, just fucking knighted. Tom. No, we're getting. We didn't see that we can't be. No, not, you can be. No, no, non-British citizens get an honorary knighthood. Hold on, is that real? Because that's not what I googled. Honorary. Honorary, because we're they non aren't allowed to put sir. In but front of their hold here's on. the thing. I got. I got your aunt's solution. What? You just become a British citizen. Oh. I will <laughs> abdicate. My American citizenship. That's, I'm talking. So he's a pretty big yeah. word. Big word. For I will word. just like <laughs> Prince Edward, King Prince, just like your great, just like your grandfather's brother. Mm -hmm. I will abdicate my American citizenship, become a British citizen, if I can become Sir Albert Charles Chrysler the Third. Why did you want to talk about AIDS today? Oh, because I. I, maybe I shouldn't have written that down. It's, so wait, would you abdicate your... Can we both abdicate our... American U.S. citizenship? And become knights? Sir, sir, what does it sound? What's your whole name? Sir Thomas Weston Segura. That sounds so good. It sounds good. Sir Albert Charles... Uh, let's just imagine it. Close your eyes, right? Okay. Uh, we're standing behind these two huge doors. We're in suits. They wore tuxedos everywhere. Mm -hmm. We have top hats on, right? Mm. And they're and our we are not with our wives because they do not <laughs> match up with us. They're not dames. <laughs> we're knights, bro. We're just two knights. Oh we, my god! Wait, do we leave them behind in the states? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just in Dude, the UK together. Think of all the fucking. It's just, we don't want people to know how old we are. And if we're with them, everyone's going to be like, wait, how old are these guys? We want young, just be around young people. Harry and, and William are young people. We don't want to show up and they're like, oh, our fucking dads are here. <laughs> so do we do like a little treatment? Like do we dye our hair a little darker before the event? Oh, we go. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, we, we show wigs. up and they're like, hey, how old are you guys? We're like 35. <laughs> we wear wigs. Wigs. We get, do we get like the, but we get like movie, movie wigs where it, like it really looks real. <laughs> so wait. And we can do this the whole time. Like just yeah. keep oh, combing our hair back. Oh, just look at it. Prince William like off the internet, man. Right. <laughs> do you know how little Why is he are? knighting us? I have no idea. What, what did we do? I think he's just a fan of ours. <laughs> These motherfuckers need to be nice. Oh, oh. You know, you know how great it would be just to be like, are you a knight and you can just go all day, 
motherfucker. I would oh, how great would it be to, and you don't have to do shit to be a knight. You just, and then you, I think you get land or something. I don't think you get land. You get, <laughs> they haven't gotten to the knight part of the crown. By the way, I'm Prince. This isn't going to happen. If someone can just make this happen, I would really appreciate it. And both Tom and I would be very grateful for you. And then we, as knights, would make you serfs. <laughs> we'll make you our serf. Hey, anybody out there that has a connection to Harry, please send him the Kool-Aid clip. Yeah, please, please, please. 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 Oh, I think Harry would fucking... I just want to like... What if he just said, let's do some like cool guy shit and let's go on my yacht to Ibiza. What if uh, Harry said that? Yeah, and that would you be It would like, be a good time. Oh, oh my God. What if we could be his court jesters? It's sounding more realistic now. And he was like, yo, can you just come in the palace, royal palace? It sucks. My fucking wife's a... Is, is his wife cool, Prince William's? Are you talking about William or Harry? Now? Harry's wife's cool as shit. She's a fucking actress. Okay. We, we can talk to her. Uh, William and Kate seem more like designed to be royalty. You know what I mean? Like they're more yeah, but proper. That's just, no, but that the queen you'd think, but the queen partied. She sucked Prince Edward's, Prince William, someone's dick. But I'm saying they do, they do it all. You know what I mean? Kate seems like she would be like. You know that Harry and Meghan decided that they don't want royal obligations it. or titles and they left. They don't I live in love Britain. I love it. I love it. Okay. By the way, that's like gangster fucking move. Yeah, I mean that's a don't. gangster fucking move. Well, you know, because you can't do shit if you're the if you're if Prince, you can't do shit. No, nothing. You can't do anything. So like fucking. And, but, and by the way, I bet Prince William doesn't even want to be king. He's like, fuck, man, I kind of wanted to go snowboarding, and he's like, I guess I can't do that. I got to fucking take an audience with the prime minister today. He's got to take an audience with the prime minister like once a week. Yeah, probably. I can't wait till he becomes king. I'm gonna throw a king party. What are you gonna? Why? Because I'm. I don't know, man. I'm really into the crown. <laughs> I'm, by the way, I can't believe I'm only into the crown because John Mulaney's in rehab. Like, because one of the things they, the videos they show of, they're like, Mulaney's off the rails. If you watch it and you've never watched The Crown, then you're like, yeah, he's crazy. But then if you've watched The Crown, you're like, no, he's not on drugs. He's just obsessed with this TV show the same way I am. He's not, it what? doesn't look like he's on drugs at all. Well, who's not on drugs? Mulaney. I mean, clearly he is because he went to rehab, but, but. You really lost me on, in the last. John Mulaney went to rehab. You know that, right? Yes. Okay. He was I on wish set. him well. Yeah, I, me too. Uh, me too. I'm, I'm bummed that he's going through it. Um, but he went on Seth Meyers when they said, quote unquote, he was in the throes of... of I got you. And he was, he was dressed weird, which I think was a bit. He doesn't seem like he's on drugs. He seems like it should have been a podcast. And by the way, fucking Seth Meyers was not playing with him. He was kind of like, he was doing this like no thing. And and John Mulaney was trying to get a bit going. Yeah. It's a podcast. If John Mulaney had been on our podcast, it would have murdered. But it's but television. It was his bit about being obsessed with the crown? Yeah. And like how fucking, by the way, it was almost exactly about this. It was almost exactly about this. But because it's television and, and I guess Seth Meyers, Seth Meyers, Seth Meyers knows the fucking royals. Like he's friends with them. Really? Yeah. Wait. Maybe we should shoot for a different country. To get royals? I can't believe I just did this. I'm setting us up with fucking William and Kate when we've got Saudi princes who party and are so much more our And you know what else that they might do? Fucking kill someone in front of us. <laughs> like, the Saudis will be like, hey, do you want to see something? Fucking this guy! What the fuck? This guy stole bread this week. <laughs> we're gonna a, cut his put a tire out. around his neck. We're lighting him on fire. <laughs> yeah. And then me and you were like, oh, oh shit! What the fuck, dude? I have not been to grocery store in uh, nine months. I do not go into grocery stores. I haven't. I love cooking though. I absolutely love cooking fresh meals. I'm trying to stay healthy. Well, if you like fresh pre-measured ingredients, mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door like I do. That's why you got to try HelloFresh. HelloFresh has cut out the stress of meal planning and grocery store trips all together so you can enjoy cooking at home and getting dinner on the table for 30 minutes or in 30 minutes or less about. HelloFresh offers 23 recipes each week featuring ranges of flavors, cuisine, and ingredients so you'll never get bored. Eating healthier has never been easier with low-cal, carb, smart, vegetarian, and pescatarian options every week. And you can choose every single recipe is packed with fresh produce and shipped directly from farmers. Cut down your grocery bill too. I'm telling you, you're going to save money 
and and waste way less food. This is good for the environment. Listen, if you if you're like me and you want to eat fresh and you want to eat with your family, this is the best option. Go to hellofresh.com/cave10 and use the code cave10 for 10 free meals including free shipping. Remember, that is hellofresh.com/cave10. Use the code cave10 for 10 free meals including free shipping. Here's what I love about this product. It's something that I never considered you could find like the ultimate version of, you know, cause socks, like, I don't know, you buy socks and maybe you're like, yeah, it fits. Okay. It feels fine. They're socks. Right. But then you try these on and they feel like they're bespoke, like custom socks for your feet. They feel so comfortable. It's like, it's snug where it's supposed to be snug. It fits just right. It's like, it's, it's like it's made for you. I've never worn socks this comfortable. Targeted compression acts like a hug around the arch of your foot, keeping the sock in place, preventing it from bunching, slipping, or sliding down into your shoe. It really is an amazing, durable, incredible product. CY Features has be quickly become the number one running sock in America. For listeners of Two Bears, One Cave, you can receive $10 off your first pair of Features when you go to Features, F-E-E-T-U-R-E-S dot com slash cave. That's F-E-E-T-U-R-E-S dot com slash cave for $10 off your first pair of Features. You know who, who's like super dope? Is the King of Jordan. Oh, he, Google him, Google him. He really has a good time, this guy. Yeah. Abdullah, the number two. Since 1999, so he's brand new in the game. Well, 20 years in the game. But he's been an internet guy. Though it's his, oh my God, he can gift us harems. He, he can do it all. Why the fuck? Why the fuck were we going for? Do you know how? That's where we need to go. Jordan. Jordan. The yeah. king. Of, king. He's already king. He's king. We have to wait for his fucking grandma to die. Mm hmm he runs that he's a good looking shit. dude and he likes to have a good time hey bert sorry for the accent bert Dummy. i think he's american educated hey bert he, tom yeah and he like you know he, he'll just be like you want to shoot a machine gun and you're like yeah he's like hey who i want i gotta do the accent to make it fun uh, who wants to drive lamborghinis ah! yeah exactly i got bitches to suck your dick machine guns to put out the window and go brr, brr, when you come you're gonna have a good time when you're in jordan that's how jordan's gonna be fuck Yes. All right. So twenty when when everything is like relieved, back to let's go. What do to you Jordan. need from? And by the way, hey, this is how Jordan works. What do you need from us? You tell us what you need from us. You want a charity show in Jordan? Fly us over. Let's party. We do it. For, fly us over in your golden jet. <laughs> I'm in. I'm I am in with a trip to so Jordan. So fucking in. Yes. And just full disclosure, I'm probably gonna talk about it nonstop. Yeah, and you got to break someone's fingers in front of us. Oh, ooh, a journalist. Let's watch him fucking <laughs> someone from Vulture who will bring Jesse David Fox. Jesse David Fox. And we'll be like, he'll be like, what is this about? And he's like, he doesn't like Hannah Gatsby, Jesse. And he's like, ah! And they use a hammer. Don't you love when these come full circle? I can't believe this. Yeah. By the way, if you have a better prince or king that we could get in with, or you are a prince or king. Likely. Who watches this program. Hit us up. I bet King and I can't believe we're shooting for the most uptight, boring royal family when we could have gotten. We're going fucking, to Jordan. How great would it be if the fucking Bolsheviks never took over Russia and we still have Russian fucking. I wonder how the Spanish royalty is right now. There's royalty in Spanish? Mm hmm. Yeah. The Spanish royal family. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm afraid about that because then you and fucking Philip V are going to be talking back and forth behind my back. And I'm like, what are you guys saying? What are you guys saying? Ooh, Ooh, he's a good looking dude. He's a good looking guy. The sixth, I'm sorry, Lo Siento. <laughs> Holy shit, Juan Carlos. God damn it. I mean, that's a good country to have a good time in. Give me, I know we're supposed to wrap up. Give me a list of royalty. Where does it still have royalty? Does Canada have? Oh, Canada does a queen, don't they? Does Canada still do the queen? No. I mean, she has like, you know, it's like symbolic uh, relationship with Canada. Yeah, the queen really lost her power. But there's some other British or uh, European countries that um, have royalty. Oh, the, give me some, give me some gettable ones. Like I don't want the super. Oh, what the about bar. the fucking? What's the what's the super rich place? Monaco. He oh, he has oh a good time. God, I can't believe I fucking. 
I'm so excited right now. Prince Albert. Prince Albert. Yeah. Oh, that's where you have a... Prince Albert's named after an earring in your cock. <laughs> this guy, you know he parties. You have the same name. Prince Albert. And he's like, hey, Bert. And I'm like, what's up? I can do my joke. By, my name I think Bert. that's wife number two. Oh, you mean smoke show number one. <laughs> show me what the fucking first one looks I think so. How do we become monarchs? Am I wrong? I don't know. Look up, look up Prince Albert, his wiki. See if I'm wrong. I might. Or did he? Maybe he got married late. Or I something. actually I might leave my family and my career to become a consort. <laughs> no, not that guy. Oh, we should also Google old queens. See if we can just slide in. Oh, but they can't remember. Divorces. Go to his personal life. You know, he, Tom, you and him would have so much in common. The Prince of Monaco, you know he races cars. Oh, he's, this guy has a good time, man. Um, a good time. Can you imagine just waking up going, hey, Tom, Scroll down. What would you like to do this evening? I'm sitting drinking fucking mimosas on my porch smoking cigars, check, and check, you're check racing cars. Wait, wait, wait. What? List of claimants and illegitimate children. That's what's up, Doc. Paternity suit. Oh, he parties. Tamara, Nicole Costi. Here we go. Bay of Fieldler. All right. A German topless model. A German topless model. This guy. Fuck. Oh, look at him at the fucking with Carl Langerfeld. Yeah. By the way, I, we want we need to party with guys who wear gloves, Tom. Like look at Carl, Carl? Langerfeld. <laughs> South African swimmer. <laughs> he dated a South. This guy's the. He's so fun. Oh my God. That's where uh, we're going. We, Monica. We need. Okay. And by the way, if you're listening and you think there's a better prince or king king that we could jive with, send us your list. And then next week, we won't skip another week. Sorry, we skipped a week. Yeah. It's yeah. been crazy. It's around been real here. crazy. It's been, here. Obviously, everyone knows Drew has COVID. And so, it, it, so it's been crazy. And I will say, I will say, put it on me. I was having panic attacks. And we were about to shoot the live show. And I was wanted to save and make sure we were all healthy for the live show. So it was my fault. I apologize. And thank you for everyone who did not give a shit and just hit us up. And they're like, hey, we understand it's free uh, the, when, you know, we're, we're doing the best we can. Um, God damn it, man. What no. is, okay, I got to change though. We're definitely, I love the King Prince thing. Yes. What the fuck is spoofing? So my number was spoofed. Uh, what does that everyone mean? Everyone hit me up and told me I must have. One of two things. I must have clicked a link that someone sent me. And then when you do that, marketing companies then grab your number and use use their number through your number to call people because it comes up as a number. And it, and for some people, it comes up as Burt Kreischer. And then all of a sudden, everyone's like, oh, fuck. So a friend of ours, I, I can't say his name because he's now being spoofed, got my phone call and he was like, hello? And it's another dude. Now he believes... That it's someone with ill intentions. That it's a, a disgruntled comedian or podcaster that is using is spoofing people's numbers to fuck with people. And I know for a fact that I have definitely had a problem with people getting my phone number and then texting aggressively, like where it's like it bothered me. I know I've talked to you about this, mm -hmm. and I then fucked with that guy's number, and maybe that was a big mistake. But now my number's been and my number got given out. I don't know how. I don't know how. So I'm ch I changed my number. I'm changing my number. I haven't changed it yet. So hit well, actually, if you're watching this, it's been changed. But Rogan hit me up. He was like, you're done. Change that fucking number. Because he goes, it happened to Jeff Bezos. What's Jeff Bezos? He's Amazon? Bezos, yeah. yeah. Um, so the weird thing about Bezos was uh, he started dating um, this woman, you know, and then he got divorced. I don't know if you remember that. And, yeah. and there was a... Uh, there was like the Inquirer said they were going to leak things they had found, right? Like yeah. uh, texts and, 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 and emails and, and all this stuff. Point being that he hired a PI and, you know. This goes back to the fact that we need a private investigator on our good team. Good point. But here's the thing that I took away from the whole story. I was like, wait, Jeff Bezos just has like, a reg like an iPhone and a regular email account? Like, didn't you think that the world's richest man would be like, oh no, the, I have a phone you've never fucking heard of. Like, and, yeah. and you can't hack my shit because I'm Jeff Bezos. No, he has the same shit. Same Shut email. Up. Yeah. And he, his phone got hacked and, you know, messages taken. And, and I guess, I think it was that the girl, the lady's brother sold information 
uh, the, the lady he was dating. Uh, but it's a really weird story, you know? Yeah, it sucks because um, yeah, Bezos, look. who also owns Washington, he also owns Washington Post. Received a WhatsApp message living that's with COVID. Exactly, what, that's what Rogan told me. Yeah. And I've definitely gotten WhatsApp messages and I've tapped on them. And so all of a sudden... It is crazy. It says the, the message of, of Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Prince, by the way, he parties. Oh, I'm totally going to Saudi Arabia. I'd go to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is like pretty much like... MBS. Like Vegas, right? It's just, uh, it's, it's I just don't think people... Well, yeah. Okay. It's hot. I wouldn't liken it to Vegas in a lot of ways. But this oh, I guy... I like this guy. I like his piercing eyes. Yeah. Look now, at him. His thing. eyes are like... His eyes look at you and he's like, we're not done tonight. No. Nah, that's right. Here's the other thing, though. He doesn't fuck around. Oh, for real? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we would have to be on, on like. Oh, is it? He's almost like a. He's almost like a rescue dog. Like you don't. You got to be careful around him. Uh, I wouldn't liken him to that. Uh, I would just say that, like, please don't show him. This when we're video. there, whatever he says, we're like, that's a fucking great idea, and I. I'm oh, so it's it's yes, it's you're doing improv with him. You're yes anding. He's like, yeah, yeah. he's like, hey, tonight. I love the fucking. And if he accent. said, like, do you have any criticism of me and what we do here? Actually, I have a few words to no. say. And then Tom's like, uh, we agree with you. I would be like, if you disagree with Bert, you can take him out back. But I'm a big fan. Is he? Is he's got a bad rap? There's people who are not so cool with what um, he has allegedly done. <laughs> is he friends with Trump? Um, I don't know. I don't know if he's friends with Trump. I really don't know. Um, I like I'm him. sure Trump would be like, I think the guy's great. Trump's price ever saving $450 billion. God, man, this, there's so much like, here's what's crazy, right? Is like, I was thinking of this the other day because I'm, I'm, I've been reading a lot about war, World War one and two. And I, by reading, I read one book and now I'm listening to podcasts and, and Dan Carlin and all that shit. But I'm obsessed with, I'm obsessed with the variation of privilege. Meaning like, and I don't mean privilege the way that like uh, social justice warriors mean. I mean like when you look at people like say the Prince of Saudi Arabia who just saved $450 billion versus the kid in Sierra Leone who is smoking heroin in the morning when he wakes up and he's only eight like the opportunities like that fucking then and then you go to like just to world war ii where those guys had to get on planes and fly death missions into japan just going like hey man you don't have enough gas and you're probably gonna have to ditch in the sea of china but maybe we'll see you later and you couldn't go hey man i'm like clearly i'm definitely not doing that like you yeah. just you had to go like i'll see you guys hopefully i'll see you later Look for a guy with a parachute going over here. Yeah. Like that. that. And you're 19. And you're 19. Yeah. Like the fact, and the fact that there are people doing that, there are people doing that today that are like soldier. The I just, and then I go to me, oh, I got a phone or at 1120. Like the, the fact of how vast life experiences are. Yeah. And how so people just dial into theirs and don't think ever about, like just people that don't got it good. Yeah, you know what makes you think about it a lot? Coronavirus? Well, sure, the virus can do it uh, being in a hospital. Yeah. And like you're just sitting in there alone. But actually what you end up, what I end up thinking about is like, man, like I'm thinking, man, I'm so lucky. Like I got great health care. People are taking care of me. People are looking out for me. I have great family, great friends, the great staff. And then you go like, oh, there's people that get hurt like just in the wrong part of the world that they just go like, Oh yeah, that guy's arm just never going to work again. Yeah. Oh, or, oh there's, you, you saw that video of the guy who arms bends backward. Cause he had, I mean, I've seen yeah. all kinds of like, but I mean, I just literally would spend hours thinking about that. You know, it's amazing. The, just how it, it's amazing how selfish you are instinctually, not in a bad way, just how selfish the average person is versus when when all of a sudden things are taken away and yeah. you real and and for me it's only just been on the outside like watching you go through it kind of shifted my perspective and then another friend shout out to Chase if he's listening I can't stop thinking about him you know who I'm talking about um but uh when someone goes through stuff your perspective of selfishness shifts 
Yeah. And then when you think about coronavirus and we and you just think of people getting it that don't don't have the access that like Drew has to like call on his own medications yeah. or or at least talk to other doctors and go, let me get on the the Bambalaminivan or whatever. Like just all that access of privilege is in yeah. people who just sanity. go like like there's people who would just go like I don't know what to do with uh, these injuries. And that's why I wanted to talk about AIDS is how like so you're in a very you're in what they call the uh the fabled catbird seat. You like oh, that? Okay. I'm, just, I'm using big words. Because you have had coronavirus and now you are uh, immune to it for the next 4 months. And by the time 4 months so comes say, around, yeah. you can get vaccinated. So in a weird way you're out of the woods. You saw the light of the tunnel. It sucked. You had to go through it. it sucked. And, but it's nice. And you almost get to raw dog it everywhere you go. Kind of. And like the world is your oyster. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit you're like, uh, want to ride a roller coaster? Like stuff like that, right? Well, not really. but. And then I thought, what if that was what with the AIDS? What if with AIDS, you got AIDS, right? Mm-hmm. And then and they're like, I'm going to be sick for like three weeks. And then I can't get AIDS for three months. How crazy. Would How many you people- fuck guys? <laughs> Yes. Don, I hear it. Stop. Yes. I would be. Do you realize dicks would be raw? Yeah. Raw. If you could you get. You just wake up in the morning like. Uh, ah, yeah. Wake up in the morning with a dick in your mouth like Prince, Princess Margaret going. Ah. That's a bad analogy. She's dead. She won't hear it. Then, well, we just X ourselves out of fucking Prince William and Harry. Yeah. Anyway. She's like, that's my aunt. That's my auntie. That's what? My auntie. How... What? That's my auntie. That's my auntie. Oh, sorry, we already moved on to Jordan now, but uh, but how fucking I was I was thinking that as I was pulling up today, I was like, and then I was because there are I, at one point I just was like I'm just gonna go get coronavirus. I'm fucking done waiting for it because like yeah. I'm, being safe sucks. But then you as safe as you want to be, you can still get it. And and then I was like, I'm tired of just going to bed every night. Going, will I wake up with symptoms? Will I find symptoms in the middle of the night? Like, is how's this gonna work? Did your symptoms come in the morning or at night or during the day? So here's what happened. I I remember it was a Tuesday and I had OT that finished and then PT and I was able to get through them. It was on a Tuesday, but immediately afterwards, and I mean immediately afterwards, I was like, I got to lay down and I passed out for like two and a half hours, right? Yeah. So this, this was like, so like, let's say I passed out at noon. I was like, wow, because I hadn't been sleeping like that in like a week the next day i had diarrhea and i had really achy shoulders and neck i remember i was like god damn it just aches so bad and i was exhausted yeah that lasted that was a wednesday thursday friday i was feeling those symptoms but they were less yeah. they were they were getting better and you're thinking it's all detox from oxy i think it's completely oxy detox which is also on their check boxes. Like if you look at it, I was like reading, I was like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And then Saturday, I felt like pretty much fine. You know, I, I felt I felt pretty good. I mean, you know, beat up, but I was like, all right. And then and then it was confirmed on Saturday that I was positive. So I was like, oh, that's what that's what that was. Yeah. Like it would be cool if you knew that that's the one you'd get. It's almost better to find out well, the way I did after you dealt with like the shitty part of it because maybe like yeah. if i had found out while i was feeling shitty i'd be like more Anx- anxious anxious about, about it, it. that's yeah. why, that's why i don't want to find out like because i don't want to find out i'm the i m- me and the dog I, I apologize Nadav, if i'm speaking for you me and Nadav had the fucking shit dog one where like drew test positive and both of us are fine we're like well we'll just wait for this yeah that sucks and then you start going like that's every day every day if you're not inside your house entirely you just got five days of waiting for shit to show up and then i was like if that was what aids was mm. wouldn't you and you knew you'd just be sick for three weeks you'd be like i'll just take some aids yeah and then raw dog for four months for months like i'd be going till the fucking stroke of midnight four months like just uh, get it yeah, in yeah. before the buzzer yeah god making so many people happy um Okay, I think we learned good, a lot today. I think that was a good uh, was, podcast. We learned that you kind of know what your dad does. Um, it'd be don't. cool if AIDS was like COVID. Uh, be happy if you have a below average or average sized dick. And um, keep coming up with original thoughts. If you know a prince or king, 
Holler at us. Holler at us. Yeah. You need to get in bed with the Saudis or oh, Jordanians. Fuck. Or and if there's someone we're over. Oh yeah, or the Spaniards or, if or there's like a small island Monaco. we can get in on. Yeah. 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 We we're Might cool with any realistic. type of knighthood, sir something. Okay. Uh thank you guys for listening. Oh my god. Should I say it now at the very end? People are gonna miss this part. Go ahead. The hats are in. Oh shit. The hats are in. The hats are in, guys. See? See? 2021 is turning it around. So what should we do? Should like so people are watching this on Monday. Should we give them a few days? Like, should we put them in the store on Wednesday? Yeah, put them in the store on Wednesday. All right. So that's what we're doing. You're if you're watching this on Monday when it comes out, or you're listening and you want the remember the hats? The the two bears hats. The two bears hats. Uh, it took an extra six months to get them because of the COVID fabric delays. We ordered five times as many as last time because they sold out in, in 60 seconds. Um, but they're in and you and have they're fitted. fair warning. They're fitted hats. Yes, you got to do your size. So they'll be in the store Wednesday morning and good luck and thank you. I'm always shocked when someone doesn't know the size of their head. Yeah, I kind of didn't. You want to know kind of <laughs> secret time? Yeah. I went to New Era. They yeah. gave me the tour of the facility. They designed special hats for me. They gave me all these custom hats. They arrived like 25 hats. None of them fit. I gave them the wrong size. Size eight, baby. That's why I never wear them. Size eight. Yeah. Right there. That's fucking huge. It is so fucking big. Um, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. Oh, we'll my see. TV show's on <laughs> on Thursday nights. Okay. So Thursday nights. Uh, go Big Show every go Thursday show. night at 9 p.m. On on TBS. There you go. Tebe Ese. See you next week. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur partology. Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.